Hair reflections. So I'm wearing a unicorn onesie today because number one, it's cold <laughs> and I'm doing this outside. Number two, I'm goofy. And number three, I'm going to be talking about a very serious topic today. And I don't want anybody to feel judged or left out or anything like that because we're trying to keep this vibration super high and super awesome. So today we're going to be talking about having a high vibration, maintaining that high vibration and establishing boundaries because that's really important when we observe that something isn't right and we need to fix that and change that and the only one that's going to do that is ourselves. So I had a really interesting experience um, while I was in Europe and I realized, you know, even before then, um, in the years while my awakening was just happening, I realized that we are programmed to act a certain way and because of that, you know, that might to us feel okay and normal, but in reality it's abuse. So I'm going to start this story by relating my own story. So again, you guys don't feel judged <laughs> because either you're just beginning this initiation or you're in the middle of it or you've already been there and done that. So yeah, in my earlier journey, I was a bit of a mean person. You know, I, I had zero to little dis, you know, regard for any other perspective other than my own. I hurt a lot of people. And when you get to a point where nobody wants to hang out with you, uh, nobody wants to be your friend, nobody wants to talk to you because you're just hurting so much inside that you're hurting all of the people around you, that is not love. And that's when I took a step back you know, from the situation, and I said, Mina, you got to fix this. You got to fix this because every single relationship is ending in heartache and pain and hurt, and I was just tired of suffering. We create these situations that we suffer from, and we make other people around us suffer and we're just very unconscious at that point and once you focus your awareness to that that's when the change can happen you know and that's when you could just take some time for yourself and go within and to find yourself and love yourself enough to say i'm not going to be that person anymore you know i respect myself enough i'm worthy of friends. I am worthy of a lover. I am worthy of family because everybody wants to be around me. You know, for a very long time, I spent a lot of time alone because there was a lot that I had to fix within myself. And I saw why I was alone. You know, there is a point in time where obviously, you know, we need to be alone, we need to be in contemplation, but after that, we need to move on. You know, we need to move on and connect and share our ideas and share our inspiration and share our love. You know, and now I realize I have such a high vibration that everybody wants to be around me. Everybody wants to be around me because I give more than I take. And when trying to assess a situation, always, you know, see, is this person taking more energy than giving inspiration? That's very important. You know, earlier on, when I had these experiences, you know, I, I had to just really take a look at the people around me and I'm like, are they abusing me? Is this normal? You know, how do human beings interact? How do they love? How do they care for one another? Is that by abuse? Is that by making fun of people? Is that by manipulation? Is that by um, mental abuse? 
And I really just assessed all of my relationships and said, well, that's not normal or that's not love. And I would have to drop it. And I would go to the next and say, is that love? That's not love. And then I'd have to drop it. And I had to basically drop all of my situations because I had to work on my own vibration. So now we can talk about that was basically how to look and see how situations are serving you um, and if they really are you know are they mentally abusive are they emotionally abusive you know these are things that we need to observe when we're in relationships or when we're trying to pick out people in our lives so I've had a situation uh, recently over and over and over again of people being attracted to my vibration and I give a lot. I give a lot of inspiration. I get a, I give a lot of love. And I give a lot of compassion and empathy. And do you notice that you, when you're in love with someone or when you're, you have a friend, you want to be with them because of how they make you feel. They make you feel good, right? They make you feel like you're on top of the world, that we are one. And that's why you want to hang out with someone. Now, when you're in a relationship or a friendship and somebody is, you know, being nasty all the time, making you feel like crap, making everyone around them feel like crap, you know, how does, how does that make you feel? Do you want to be around that person? I didn't think so. So I recently, you know, have th- these situations where I just have to let go of things because, again, you know, when dealing with other people's programming, You have to first respect yourself. You come first. And if somebody isn't in alignment and feeling good and at a very low vibration, you don't have to deal with it. And that's something that I realize. You know, I'm I'm a very nice person. And because of that, sometimes I feel that I used to allow really nasty behavior because I thought I'm spiritual. I can deal with it. I can allow it because I can handle it. But then I looked and I observed that person in all situations. You know, this is something that recently happened. And I spent a number of days with this person and I observed in all situations. So I observed when I was giving them something out of love and saying, here, take this. And their automatic response was to insult what I was giving them and then insult me and then just take it. And again, I was observing that. I didn't say anything. I didn't start anything. I'm quiet. I'm a quiet observer. (laughs) But I observed that situation and I said, Mina, do you deserve this? Is this something you should be taking? Would you hurt yourself and take this from someone who is unconscious? And I said, no, this is abuse. And that's when you establish the boundaries. If you yourself do not establish boundaries, people will establish them for you. And that's very important. And as a conscious person with a heightened awareness, you have the ability to stop all situations and to create certain situations and to create boundaries and say, no, I will not take this. I love myself too much. I love myself too much to take unconscious behavior, right? You love yourself, right? That's why we do this. So what I do when trying to find my match with people is I see what are, what are they giving and what are they taking? You know, are they giving the right type of vibe? Are they in a sharing Uh, state of mind? Are they in a unity state of mind? Are they in a love state of mind? And if they are, then I allow it. And if they don't, I establish boundaries. And I tell them with all the love possible. Because when you confront someone's BS, they begin to make different um, excuses for it. And they lack compassion and empathy. That's why they are acting in a certain vibration and lashing out to you. And, you know, I observe that and then I reflect that. You know, and this is, I'm going to say this now, 
I am just a reflection, a mirror, reflecting your inner state of consciousness and you and your self image. So if you identify with a negative vibration, it's up to you to change it. And you can, because the first step is awareness and observation, and then comes change. So if you identify with this, don't feel sad. Seriously, don't feel sad because you know what? The first step is knowing and observing and then change comes. So it doesn't matter where you are on this spectrum. If you are just beginning to become aware or if you're in the middle of it and you don't know how to deal with certain negative vibrations because you identify as spiritual and because you identify as spiritual, you allow certain behaviors again. It's not a bad thing to be in this situation because now your awareness is on it and you can change. So this is how we're going to change ourselves and not allow certain behaviors because we think it's normal. We're programmed to think it's normal. It's not. The only thing that is true is love and the highest level of that. And it's been so easy. So when this person comes to you and you basically reflect what they are doing and saying and you show them, hey, this is not how love is. This is not how friendship is. This is not how family is. They will automatically come in a defense mechanism and they will say, well, this is just how I am. And then you say, but this is not how I am. And you show examples of good people. Once you do that and they see, again, you know, you're, you're, you're giving, you're shifting their awareness to their vibration. And that's scary. And they don't want to deal with it. Then they're going to tell you, oh, well, this is how I behave with everyone else. And again, you're going to have to stand your ground and tell them, again, this is not love this is not unity this is not how it's supposed to be and you give more examples and then they will say and they will break down to the last bit and they will say but i am in pain show me compassion you know i've been through a lot this is my story you don't know my story and once they say that say but you don't have any compassion for me I've been doing this just like this and I've been observing you. And you have such little compassion for everybody around you that you are so nasty all the time and you are so unaware of your vibration. Please be aware of this. I refuse to take abuse and I refuse to have compassion supposedly for someone, you know, and take this. No, compassion is showing you truth, allowing you to feel that, expressing my truth in the highest vibration possible, and then saying, these are the options. If you cannot identify with this, then I think it's time to move on. And guess what? When you stand your ground, you make people think. And they think about their actions. They think, why is this person you know, not wanting to be around me because I did the same thing when somebody left me because I was not nice because I was being mean and, and, and unconscious of my words and my actions because I was drunk, because I was this making excuses. Another thing, they're going to make a lot of excuses. And again, it's up to you to show them there is no excuse. If you have an issue with substance abuse, you know, if you are drinking in excess and this, uh, you know, creates this type of behavior, then again, this is something you need to pay attention to. This is addictive behavior. If you are taking a drug and because of this drug, you are acting this way with someone, again, that is something to look into because, you know, when you are in the highest vibration, You don't need those things to feel good. You don't need those things to to, to be able to communicate with people. These days, again, no judgment. I take less and less and less 
uh, substances because I'm already feeling amazing. I'm already feeling that connection. And there's nothing to escape because I'm genuinely happy. And I know that this is, you know, the next level. So when I said this to this person, they contemplated for four or five days. They saw how, and when I did this, I stopped the negativity and the negative vibration. A whole bunch of other people came into my life. And when this happened, I realized that since I had standards, the highest standards of people came. And the reason why I have high standards for humans is because I have high standards within myself. I go out of my way to make someone feel amazing, to make someone feel loved, to make somebody feel inspired. So why wouldn't the people around me be the same? When you, certain, when you set certain levels of expectations, they are met. And I saw that within this experience. So I wasn't mean to that person. I was just firm and I stood my ground and I expressed how I felt in the calmest, loving, most positive vibration that you can in those situations. And they thought about it and they ruminated on it and they saw what a great time I was having with other people. And it made them think. And guess what? Five days later, they apologized and they came a new person because they know strong people don't take shit and strong people don't make other people feel like shit because they're hurting. You know, I empathized. I understood. I felt that person because you know what? That person was me not too long ago. <laughs> so that's how I feel spiritual people can maintain love for themselves because if you don't maintain love for yourself, nobody else is going to. When you don't maintain boundaries for the people around you, nobody is going to. And when you don't love yourself and respect yourself enough to say, no, thank you, I will not allow this, other people around you will not do it for you. Anyway, reflections, I hope that helps. And again, I hope you guys don't feel, you know, judged. I, I hope you guys don't feel like, you know, sad because you identify with that. Because like I said, I used to be there. I was a toxic person and now I'm doing this. And now I'm aligning with love. And it's possible. Anything is possible. Anyway, reflections, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Hey Reflections, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.